I wouldn't say we're hiding them. We're not publicizing that we have them. The popo hasn't come from the chickens yet. <laughs> Two years ago, I was reported to codes for having three chickens. Okay, do you want to show them where we keep the eggs, Porter P? So we got the chickens, and it was funny, and it was fun. But it became a, I mean, it really was, it's a profound experience. The children take out, like, the innards to the pumpkin, they take it out there, give it to the chickens, and then they're like, and then they make an egg out of it. And we can't comprehend how that happens every single day. Seven eggs? Oh my god. Seven goodness. eggs? I wonder That's how many pancakes can you make with seven eggs? <laughs> I am worried that someone will cite us. In the beginning, I wasn't so worried about it, but now that Porter has become the manager of the chicken coop, I am concerned because I don't know what will happen to him when, uh, if someone came to get them, what that would mean. It'd be like someone coming and taking your dog. Do you love the chicken? Do you want to tell them which one is your favorite chicken? Oh, Daddy. Why, why do they make you happy? Because they ate eggs. Yes, and what do you do with the eggs? They make pancakes and make scrambled. <laughs> and is it fantastic? Porter, where do eggs come from? Um, the chickens. But what part of the chicken do they come out of? Behind. <laughs> yeah, the behind. July close my what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Where is Oda? There. The girls have got mail. You get a citation, you have a certain amount of days in which they have to go away. So they did. They went one block over and five houses down to Deanna and Matt's house with their chickens. And then I put up the lattice work. I built the privacy fence. I don't want to bother other people and I don't want people bothering me. I mean, unless I was doing something really, really bad. You know, I, I, I would want to be reported. If I was mistreating them, I would want to be reported. So why is it illegal here? Um, this is my assumption. Everyone in Nashville had chickens. And um, back in the 60s, they didn't want Nashville to be country or seen as country or hick. So it was passed that chickens or farm animals were illegal in Nashville. they pretty much take care of the birds. I mean, so I think the sense of responsibility, the sense of connectedness to the food, um, the, I mean, the first four birds we had, you could tell which bird laid which egg. We charted which birds laid what and how many eggs we got in a week and did little bar graphs. And I mean, so it was a fun way for them to learn a lot of that without, you know, do bar graphs isn't nearly as exciting as let's figure out which you know which egg which chicken is laying which eggs to learn that you have things and care for them and Lucy's starting to get nervous because Puffy's four that Puffy's gonna die soon and she loves Puffy but you know we just talk about how important it is to make the life that she has here as good as we can and that you know at some point she'll die I mean I, I just think it's not a bad concept for kids to live around life and death. So I think everybody used to have chickens in their backyard. Yeah, apparently the government used to encourage people to have chickens. Well, the USDA had, had a huge like advertising campaign that it was your patriotic duty to have chickens. Every family should have two chickens. I know, I know. Who would think that like if I'm gonna break the law, it wouldn't be about chickens. I, I just have to trust that it's gonna, that that law is gonna change. It just seems silly to me that it's in existence, but. Here he comes. <laughs>